Johnny uh, Klutz. Uh, Klutz, yeah. Klutz is just this character I, I kind of came up with. It was like, uh, came, that, that was just my sort of love of physical comedy because I, I, the guys that kind of made me want to be funny, the guys that inspired me to be funny if, uh, were uh, Rowan Atkinson and, and, and Michael Richards. And so, and so to me, like, physical comedy is, is the purest form of comedy. It's mm -hmm. comedy that requires no cultural knowledge, it needs no subtitles, it works in every language because you're just falling down and standing funny and all that. And so and so for me it was this character that I came up with who's this guy that's just he's a real big mouth and he always falls down and so he has he's accustomed to getting his ass kicked every day for twenty some odd years and by the end, you know, by the time we see him he's fallen down and been beaten up so much that uh, he has like a superhuman uh, tolerance to pain and so he exhibits all the same things like his teeth get knocked out, he bleeds, his bones break, he just doesn't really feel all that much pain. <laughs> so it's supposed to be kind of like Mr. Bean for the generation that's lived through jackass. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's very funny. Yeah. And so that's going to be, like, you're going to play the character. Yeah, ideally, yeah. It's, it's something like we just, uh, you know, there's a, there's a pretty cool script and we're just kind of um, working on it, developing it. And, uh, yeah, it's something I, I'm chomping at the bit to do. But it's animated. No, no, that one will be live action. Really? It'll be like a live action cartoon. So your teeth are going to fall out. Ideally. I mean, this is <laughs> fake. This one's fake, so. so well, yeah. there you go. It's a live action cartoon in our minds, yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, it could be fun. Yeah. Who are some of the people that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Oh man, uh, um, if I ever got the chance to work for David Cronenberg, I would, uh, yeah. yeah, I would do just about anything to be one He's of his movies. He's my idol, too. He's it for me, and, and uh, being a Canadian and a horror fan, like, that's, that's as big as it gets, yeah. and, uh, and also, I, I would, I would, I would absolutely uh, kill for the opportunity to work with Brian De Palma once. Mm. Yeah, those, those, those are the guys that like I, uh, I really, really love and, and would do anything. And I geeked out with Brian De Palma one time. The poor guy had the, the mis, the, the, he had the displeasure of having to travel with beside me on a plane to from <laughs> Toronto to Los Angeles once, and so I had him. Captive for five hours. I just talked his ear off. I, you know, it's like I never talk to. I never do that kind of stuff, and it's just rare that I get. You know, if I'm starstruck, I don't have the balls to ask anyone. But him, it's just his movies have meant so much to me for so long that I was like, screw it. When am I? When else am I going to have his ear for five <laughs> hours straight? And so I just like laid into him about when just asked about every single one of his films and had to do this shot and all that and like yeah so that, that was a that was a pinch me moment for me. Oh, I bet that made him yeah, happy. It though. was pretty cool for me anyway. Yeah. Man, 